Hey, I'm Kyle, and this is The Vervet Forest, season two, episode number 19. Today's episode, Kendall and Nala get to head out into the Angle Key Troop main enclosure with their foster moms. Leo and Freya take their place in the Angle Key Troop intro enclosure, and I give you an update on Vera and the rest of the babies over in Disneyland. I'd like to give a shout out to some of my awesome patrons, Mac, Mercia Merlot, Catherine Hoffman, Shannon Martinez, Jim and Linda, Chuck and Di, and Stephanie from Australia. Thank you all very much for your continued support. If you'd like to become a patron, then all you have to do is follow the link that's on the bottom of the screen right now, or you can click the link in the description below the video or in the pinned comment at the top of the comments. There's also a bunch of links for other things in there that are very helpful for finding more information about pretty much anything that I talk about. All right. Let's get into the episode. I wasn't around for Kendall and Nala heading out into the troop, but I did get to check on them later in the day, and everything seemed to be going just fine. Nala was hanging out next to the feeding cage by the fence near the intro enclosure. She was munching on a piece of butternut that was bigger than her head. Nala had taken herself out into the troop, she had refused to cling to a mom, and that was just the way it went. Kendall went out with Emma. Sometimes the electric fence is a little weak or it doesn't work, and obviously this is one of those moments. Don't do that. You get or you're not going to get shocked. <laughs> yeah, well... But then it worked. Thank you. Carolyn came to defend Nala. <laughs> she thinks you did it. She's Sorry. so confused. She's like, these <laughs> electric sticks. They keep poking <laughs> with these electric sticks. I'm sorry. Yeah. She was literally touching the fence with both hands. Despite getting shocked, Nala seemed pretty content with troop life. I think it's BC. She followed Bisu, and together they found Emma and Kendall snuggled up on a perch.
all four monkeys ended up in a tree together where they spent the night. The day after Vera met the foster moms of Goliath Troop, pretty much every single foster mom had had a chance inside the intro enclosure, and Vera had rejected every single one of them. She still was cautious and would not let any of the moms approach her. Colleen and Halo were in the intro enclosure with Vera. We don't really have anyone around. If you want to kind of keep the door open, mm -hmm. Colleen wants to come in and out for a couple times. To come down. That's fine. She might pull a Maggie May. Vera would not stop running around and screaming and crying, and that made the foster moms very tense and uncomfortable. Gabe, Belle, Red, Leo, and Freya were all finally in the front room of Disneyland, and they were the happiest that I'd seen them in a very long time. No. It's like, looks you in the eye. Yeah. Jumps in your face. Yeah. She's calm now. Okay. And this one. It's, uh, yeah, from what I could see, it was, uh, like, soft. Yeah, but. Brown, red brown.
White berries? Uh, I can get some. Because Gabe really loves them. Thank you. <laughs> Just for yourself. It's presenting for her to butt groom, but she doesn't have any idea. A couple of days later, Leo and Freya moved over to the Angle Key intro enclosure. Despite the fact that Nala and Kendall had just joined the troop, all of the monkeys came by to check out the two new babies. So ridiculous. Oh man. 
You want more from the magical seed bucket? <laughs> We've got a microscope. A binocular mouse. <laughs> that makes <laughs> small things far away. Yeah. <laughs> this is a small thing close, you just rule it on your foot. I just want Belle to start doing her thing. That's the one thing I don't want to miss. She always makes me think of those little round cheeses that are the left. Because baby Belle? Baby Belle. <laughs> Even Nala and Kendall came by to say hello. So it was about four days since Vera had met the Goliath troop foster moms and she still hadn't bonded with anyone. This is Vera and Halo. By this point, none of the moms wanted to stay in with her. Halo was inside the enclosure, but she really wanted to get out and was pacing trying to leave. And usually at this point, it's best to just let the monkeys go instead of keeping them inside and getting them even more stressed out. Vera was not helping the situation. The problem with letting a mom out is if there's no adult female inside the enclosure with the baby, then the baby can't stay in the intro enclosure for the night. They have to go back to the baby cabin with people. And that's exactly what happened to Vera. <laughs> <laughs> 